she is trying to talk me into getting my real estate license. Hey, we just got here. How much is this house? 400,000. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Well, that's definitely not good. Like I just keep feeling like my heart like jump. That's definitely not good. I know prioritizing your health is everything. It's like the number one priority that you should have as a parent, especially for me as a single mom. But it's so inconvenient to constantly be always dying. This is me. And these are my kids. And this is our life. And this is our vlog. Happy Halloween! As you can see, I am very obviously a tiger. Got my little ears up here, got my little costume, one piece, got my little tail. So cute! I'm ready to go to bed already, like I'm already over it and it's only, it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon. It's raining outside, which sucks. Um, we're gonna be giving out candy, eating pizza, watching scary movies, staying in. Um, it's been like a few years since I took the boys actually trick-or-treating recently mainly because of the pandemic but now it's the pandemic but also i don't feel like checking their candy i don't want to check it i'd rather buy it at the store and just give it to you instead that's I, I don't care i don't care and they don't care either they already had their halloween parade at school um on friday both of them so they've been pretty satisfied so um we are about to run out and go pick up the candy from the store so let's go Okay guys, ignore the uh, pile of laundry in the back on the couch. I've gotta put it away. Um, this is the costume, like the full mirror. So cute. Um, like I said, um, when we went shopping for our costumes, I didn't really have a lot of investment in my costume just because I don't think there were that many good themes this year. And um, I did the bare minimum, I got lazy. I did my makeup this morning. Got it done out the way nice and early because I really didn't feel like doing it. But I knew it would take this costume a notch up with some full face makeup. So I think I did pretty good with the, the nose and the whiskers and whatnot. So I'm like a tiger, sort of. A sexy tiger. Am I a pretty kitty? All right, boys, let's go. So um, Joshua is blue. If you watched our, yeah. If you watched our vlog, as I said, um, we went costume shopping. His costume only came in, the largest size it came in was a 16, he is 8. So it literally, it's like, it doesn't fit. It fits where it needs to fit, but look at his, the bad. Come here. Come here. Like, basically, they're high waters. But, are you happy? Mm -hmm. And that's all I care about. And Jaden is a dragon. Where is your, um, where's your, your, your... <laughs> Your mask. His wings. His wings, mom, look. That's okay, he doesn't have to put his wings on because he has coat on. And, um, if, unless, I mean, if you, you can if you want to. Fine. Let's go, let's We're go. Bad. Come on, come on. When you want, okay. When you can't for other people too. And it has like everything in it. 
Oh, it's like everything. Stop the wagon! Everyone is staring at me. I'm very sleepy and tired from this weather. And I also feel like my heart is racing. Like, I feel like my heart is racing. So I'm gonna go home and take my, um, my blood pressure because I do actually feel a little bit weird. I'm not gonna lie. I do feel a little bit weird about that, but I'm definitely gonna take a nap though. I'm gonna definitely take a nap. Like otherwise, I'm otherwise fine, but I'm gonna definitely take a nap when I get in. And rest up for the little kitties. And then have lunch too, we need to have lunch. So let's get out, let's get out of here. Guys, I had to turn around so I can show you this Halloween display. So first of all, I'm driving in the block, mind my own business, and I see someone laying on the ground in someone's lawn and it looks like a legit person that's dead. And if not dead, in some kind of distress. So I freaked out, I was like, oh my God. And then I was just like, you know what? You guys got me. Good, you got me, good, you, you really got me. I wonder how many cops have stopped there thinking that it was a real person. Wait till you see this. This looks real. I thought this was a real person and got scared. <laughs> oh my God, they really got me for a second. Okay, we are home and I'm pretty surprised at how well my hair held up, all things considered, because it definitely got wet. Got our bags of candy. I wanna see if I have, let me check the basement a bigger tub um, to put the candy in because I just thought we had a bigger, cause we have bowls, but like I want like a big, big, I think I know I bought a big red tub and I don't know what I bought it for, but I know I bought it and I don't remember throwing it away, but I don't remember a lot. So I don't know, let me see, it's not over here. Um, it must be over here on the other side where the store, oh, there it is. All right, we got the tub. It's so weird because I'm so anti-social that I'm already dreading children coming up to my door, ringing my doorbell and me having to open the door and talk to kids <laughs> and their parents. <laughs> What are you gonna do? I do this for the kids. It's so dark in here. I have all the windows open. Does that make a difference? Mm. Where can I stick you on? Let me go get the stupid. Let me go get my ring light because this is just. I need my hands to be free. All right. First things first. I want to take my blood pressure. Make sure I'm not dying as we speak. Oh come on. Right. Like I just keep feeling like my heart like jump. The last time that happened to me, my blood pressure was like really high. Well, that's definitely not good. That can't be right. That's definitely not good. Okay, um. Okay, okay. Let me sit down. That stroke level. Let me calm down. Let me. Alright, let me just. Let me calm down. This is not. I'm not stressed out. That is not good. I can't catch a break. I can't catch a break. It'll calm down. It's gonna come down. I just need to calm down. It's gonna come down. I just need to calm down. I haven't even been drinking coffee. Um, I mean, I didn't have Chinese food for dinner, but like, I'm just so not even that. No, I'm annoyed. But I know that part of the key is to not freak out. 
and to remain as calm as possible. What's up, Hi, honey. What's up? And um, not get into my head too much because it'll just get worse. But I know something was wrong. I don't feel like going to the damn hospital. Like, I don't feel like going to the hospital. Like, I just don't. Oh, come on. I can't spend a moment of my life. Not, hang on. I just can't. I'm just so tired of something always being wrong with me. And if I start crying, it would just only get worse. And my blood pressure would get even higher. But I'm just exhausted with something always being medically freaking wrong. Like, just. I, I want to say like almost two weeks ago I was having like really severe side effects from the medication that I've been taking um, for those of you who are new to my channel and have never seen any of my vlogs um, a little over a month ago I started taking medication for anxiety and depression and um, started therapy and it takes a few weeks for it to get into your system and I woke up one day and I felt like I was in a different place. Like I was in my own bedroom and I didn't recognize my own bedroom. Like I knew I was home, but I literally didn't feel like I was at home. I looked at my own kids and didn't recognize my kids, but I knew my kids. It's so hard to explain. Like all I know is that I felt like I was having an out of body experience I had severe nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, vertigo. My, sting, my skin was tingling, my heart was racing and pounding, and I couldn't place my emotions. Like I was literally all over the place. I could not place my emotions. And it scared the living crap out of me. And I tried to fight through it, and I just ended up at an urgent care center. It did not go well. And um, it sucked. And those symptoms have subsided. They lasted for like four days straight. Like I thought I was gonna seriously go out of my mind. And I was having like severe, severe um, night terrors. I was having really, really bad night terrors. And um, when I would go to sleep, I would actually jump out of my sleep uncontrollably and I would talk in my sleep so I would be having full conversations with the kids while I was sleeping it was like I was stuck in REM like it was insane like it was absolutely insane the first thing my sister was just like and this is the reason why I don't want to get on medication and I was like no but like I needed an intervention I was really 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 anxious and really stressed out and depressed and all over the place and I needed it and um so I'm still taking the medication and it has since evened out, but I don't know what's going on with me right now. I'm just gonna take it easy. I'm just gonna take it easy and um, check it again in like 15 minutes and see where it's at then. But this is not what I want. This is not what I wanna happen, not today. And it's so inconvenient. I know prioritizing your health is everything. It's like the number one priority that you should have as a parent, especially for me as a single mom. But it's so inconvenient to constantly be always dying. It's annoying. It's just like, I'm not saying I wanna die, but I might welcome that pit. I might be like, finally, is it over now? Because this has just been a nightmare. I said that with full sarcasm, don't anyone take this offensively and um, FYI, if any of you guys are feeling like you're in a really dark place and you feel like you want to hurt yourself or anyone else, please go get help as soon as possible. There are suicide hotlines. I'm a very sarcastic person. I have a deep, dark sense of humor because of childhood trauma. So there's that. Um, but me and my therapist, we talk about that now. <laughs> so um, let me try and drink as much water as I can. That should help too. That should help. I still feel it. I just need to chill out and calm down. I just need to chill out and calm down. Take a deep breath. I need to calm myself down. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna meditate. We 
might have to go back to the gym tomorrow. I haven't been to the gym in three weeks, not gonna lie. Um, why? Well, after my episode, but actually before my episode two, can I just say it's been like a weird month, I guess? I mean, you guys haven't seen me in like several days. That is way too much candy. I might have to give every kid like 10 pieces because like I swear to goodness, oh my God, my neighbor's walking past my house, crap. <laughs> I love all my neighbors. I just don't want anyone to have any extra reason. Crap, oh crap, you know, you know. You know what? Wait. Can we open up? Can we open up? Not yet. Wait, wait, wait. Can I take one? One. And it begins. Oh, come on! You took a mess! Wait, okay, let's just put it this way, okay? Uh -huh. Bye, tiny spider. So, what? A tiny, right there. It's a tiny spider, mom. You don't so want to be. So let's just put it this way. Um. Okay, I'll get. No, I know that like. I cannot. I sarcastically always talk about being attractive, which I know I am a beautiful woman. I won't, I am, thank you, thank you God, thank you for that. He didn't give me a lot, but he gave me a pretty face. Um, and a cute little figure, might I add. And I know that to some people that analyze that, they might think, oh, well, she's probably got low, low self-esteem. No, I don't, but I used to have severe low self-esteem. And I am just a sarcastic person. I do really love myself too. Um, and um, that being said, I think people get the illusion that I like lots and lots of attention. Where that's not true, I'm actually an introvert with extroverted energy. I don't like a lot of people, period. People make me uncomfortable and I don't really like a lot of compliments from men. I like compliments from women, to be honest with you. Because I just do like, and I'm not gay. And I'm not, you know, um, homophobic or anything like that either. But. I mean, if you're a lady, you understand what I'm saying. Like, it's nice to have a compliment from the guy that you're interested in, that you're talking to. Um, it's nice for somebody to notice something about you from time to time. But it's not, it's uncomfortable when people pine over you. Like, that's not cute. That's not cute. It's uncomfortable. Um, people just naturally think automatically that if you have confidence, that it means you're self-absorbed and you just want constant attention. No, not at all. I would actually really like... Um, to be judged based on everything except for my looks. As a matter of fact, because of having decent looks, people judge you immediately. Like, I've been treated really, really crappy in the past by men because they think that I'm gonna use my looks to my advantage. I've heard of pretty privilege, but I've just gotta tell you guys. I can't tell you too many times where I got the benefit of the doubt because I was pretty. Will someone hold the door for you? Yes. Will they let you change lanes and let you get over? Yes. Um, have I gotten free stuff? No. Have I gotten discounts? No. Like, did I get a better job or did I get a promotion because of being attractive? No. Like, I'm still black. I'm just pretty. I'm black. <laughs> so, um, that's about it. Um, the men in my neighborhood, they don't miss an opportunity to hit on me. And it's a whole story time and it's so worth talking about. But, and the only hesitation to make it is because I'm afraid one day they'll see it. Just a neighbor in particular, but it's gotta be talked about. It does have to be talked about. Like it needs to be talked about. Like. It, it affects my life. It really affects my life and it has affected my life in the past so much. Um, I had a, I'll make a story about it, a story time about it sometime. Um, but I did have, just to sum it up, I did have a neighbor who still lives across the street from me who was sexually harassing me for three entire years to the point where I would not open my shades in my house or my front door at all. I lived in like darkness for three years straight. And then finally I snapped. And he had been rejected so many times and he would not take a hint. He would not go away. And I was just like, this 
is becoming an issue and he wasn't kindly rejected i actually had several friends approach him male friends and tell them tell him that she is not interested don't ever cross the street again don't talk to her don't even look her way what did he do he kept coming back because i didn't have a boyfriend i haven't had a relationship in oh goodness i lost count now it's been like three plus it's been like three plus years put it that way um i didn't have a boyfriend or a dad or a brother or a cousin or anybody besides my friends um to go over there and they've got girlfriends of their own so they're going to be involved but they're going to only be involved to a certain extent because like they have to protect those women i'm not really a priority but you know if i do tell somebody i'm not comfortable with such and such can you please let that person know because they're not listening to me or my social cues or me telling them that i'm not interested whatsoever and um because like i said because i didn't have a boyfriend they didn't take he didn't take it seriously because it wasn't my man saying yo that's my girl and we're involved and like you know cut it it was my friends going over and talking to him so it didn't work and then finally i publicly cursed him out because i snapped and he has never spoken to me since and i was just like thank god thank god guys i'm so sorry that this vlog is so like so chatty but i missed you i haven't seen you guys in a long time and then you guys miss me too so anyway um did you pick your candy oh no i'm so sad actually all right you can pick some candy okay. this is little hungry this is what we got we got twix we got snickers we've got starburst we've got lollipops this is a gum pop we've got titty pops we've got Whoppers, Whoppers, M&M's, is that it? We got it all. Oh, we got Milk Duds. Nobody likes these. I feel bad because Milk Duds are like, nobody likes them. Honestly, like once upon a time, I was the Milk Dud in the candy bag. It was still sweet, it was included, it was classified as a candy, but nobody wanted me. And now, I'm like the Kit Kat of the candy. I used to be such a candy person, like I was obsessed with candy, and now I really seriously do not want anything to do with it. <gasps> we just take our thumbnail pictures, boys. Where's your costume? Put your costume back, and we got to take our um our pictures for the our thumbnail. Cause I've been getting better at it. Yeah. I'm gonna put in my oil diffuser and light some of these candles in here because that'll make me feel calm. I need to be in a calm environment. I need to be calm. And guess what, guys? Just to get it out there so I don't forget. Because, you know, my attention span is like, <laughs> guess who's coming to visit next month? And staying for a whole entire week. Coming for Thanksgiving. My Aunt Mary. Now, I know you guys got, like, a little clip of her. Like, a few little clips of her. Um, in my vlog, my what the hell happened vlog. Or this is, or where I've been, this has been hell vlog. That's the title was. But, um my special self couldn't figure out how to get my camera off slow-mo so while she was here i was vlogging and then i went to go edit and everything was in slow-mo and i could not figure out what exactly the you know how to change i knew how to change the speed but i didn't know how to change it to the point where it would be normal and not speed you know time lapsed so i had to throw out all the footage but this time when she comes because i'm vlogging every day again we're gonna be vlogging every single day so i'm like so excited i'm so excited let me calm down because my excitement's gonna get my heart rate up let me calm down i'm gonna have a salad for lunch like you shouldn't be surprised i'm gonna have a salad because i know it's low sodium and you know diet and exercise and a stress-free life that is what we're gonna do i can do the diet and i can do the exercise not dieting but obviously you know what i mean like eating the right stuff um i can eliminate lots of sodium i don't cook with salt at all um i do season the boys food um i can do this i can do this it's gonna be okay it's gonna be copacetic i got this put your costumes on i need to get thumbnail pictures move it they never listen to me oh my gosh Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Great.
guys, I'm trying to take my thumbnail picture, and yes, I did get a prop. And J Jaden walks by and he goes, disgusting. And then he told Joshua to get the kitty cat. I'm a tiger. I would ruin you in the wilderness. I am a tiger. Get off of me. Okay, guys, so my camera is dying, but it's okay. I'm going to charge it when we get to the house. But this is Rizwana. Almost a decade, friendship. Yes. yes. And she is trying to talk me into getting my real estate license. This is so out of the blue but she's been plotting. And we're about to go to a vacant house so she can basically walk me through what she would say to me if she was going to sell to me and I was a buyer. Just so I can get like, you know, the wing of things. So, let's go. I had a business meeting scheduled today. I didn't mention it because I wasn't gonna bring it up. And, cause it was gonna be quick, but change of events. Jaden, help me buckle his seatbelt, please. We are on our way to go see this house. Bow, bow, bow. Hey, we just got here. Okay, perfect. I'm like two minutes away. Okay, no problem. Take your time. All right. All right. Bye, bye bye. She thinks that I can do it. I really do actually think that it's not a bad idea, and I'm definitely like, hi, sweetheart. There's nothing that's telling me not to do this. Like, to be a nurse and to have a real estate license underneath my belt, I'm not opposed to that idea at all. She just got here. We're about to go in. I'm so excited. Contact me unless Hans is good. Yes, to I will leave them. all of her information in the description box below if you guys are looking for a house here in Cherry Hill. How much is this house? 400000 400000 Is it negotiable? Um, depends. If there's multiple offers, probably not. Yeah. But if not, maybe. We have to check the comps. If there's multiple offers, it's not negotiable, but under other circumstances, it's a possibility. I wanted you guys to see the complete outside of it really quickly, one second. Two car garage, that's my car. One story home, Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Lots of land, big front yard. I'm assuming a big backyard as well, but we'll look into that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Where is Juana? Wait, I'm gonna turn on the lights yet. Usually what I do is I come in a little earlier, I turn on all the lights, so mm -hmm. then when the buyers come, they see a well-lit house, you know? Now, do you stage it? Um, if it's my listing, it depends. Oh. But in this my market, gosh. you don't really have to stage it. Where is Juana? <laughs> like I said, guys, two-car garage. This is the kitchen. This looks newly renovated. Oh, look at these lights. These are so Let's turn them all on. Let's turn on the lights. I'm not even selling this house and I feel like I'm selling this house. <laughs> well, you're, you're getting prepared. Oh, look at those ceiling lights. Oh my goodness, so well lit. Washer, dishwasher, stainless steel. You already did. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This looks like it's gonna be the dining area, fireplace. What year is this built? This one, let me check. I can give you all that information. Look at that. Can you imagine putting your Christmas tree up here, having a fire pit out there? Look at that view. Even though it's like you can see roadside, but look how quiet it is back here. It's big enough. Oh, a little bird feed back there. You've got enough land back here. It's a really big backyard. So it's a little over a quarter I can't believe how big this is for a one story. Okay, so this is bedroom one. This is probably the smallest. I would say probably this is a kid size, but it still has two rooms. This is bedroom number one. How many square feet is this bedroom? Do you know? Um, usually it's listed in the MLS, mm -hmm. and sometimes it's not. But I always carry a measuring thing with me, and I measure it out there. This is the second bedroom. This is the second bedroom. And then you know you have to see every space of the house when you're showing it. A nice closet space, realistic, and another good street view. Great view out here. Oh my gosh, I just passed the bathroom, guys. That's all. This is the master. This is the master bedroom. Yeah. And a bathroom. So then you have a closet here. You have two closets in this. Uh, you electrical room. boxes right here in the master bedroom? Yeah, so because it's like one rancher. Sometimes it's in a room, it depends. But this is not ideally in a bedroom. What's that? Okay. Um, so you have two closets here, and also this is a master bath.
big, gigantic bathroom I want to go home. You can see behind me how big this bathroom is. This is the full bath. And the colors right here, obviously you could repaint, but they're so neutral, you could do anything with it. Beautiful tile in the background. I absolutely love it. It's big, it's spacious, it's it's gorgeous to say the least. Like what can I say? What can I say? Why do you add that there is a washer and dryer right here? It's right attached to the kitchen. It's a part of the kitchen. And here's the pantry. Many shelves for stocking. You can literally bring your groceries, park in the garage, and come right in. And you actually have the safety of coming through your garage, parking your car, and coming right in here, right into your kitchen. Is that your home? What more could you want? Hey guys, we're back home from visiting the house. We stopped at um, Taco Bell on the way home. Um, we're home looking for the trick-or-treaters, which I have not seen in my block whatsoever, which sucks because I spent like $50 at Walgreens getting candy. And the most candy I've given out is between the boys eating it and then I gave Rizwan a bunch of candy for her kids. So I'm calm now. I can't believe there's no trick-or-treaters out here. Like, I'm disappointed in this neighborhood. Oh, no, Randomly, trick-or-treaters have just shown up. Wait, 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 wait. Candy, candy, candy. Thank God, finally. No, some candy. Oh, Joshua. Have some candy. Have some candy. Have some candy. Do it. Yo, have some candy, bro. Have some candy. Here's some candy. Thank you, you're our only trick-or-treater. Literally. Yeah. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! <laughs> we just got our only trick or treater of the entire Yay! night. Oh my gosh. Yay! <laughs> Joshua gave her like 10 pieces of candy, guys. So, hey guys, so I am feeling so defeated because. Oh, uh, wait, I'm trying to. I'm not gonna use my tripod because there's no point at this point <laughs> to pull my hair back. Um, I'm feeling so defeated because we did not get more than one trick-or-treater you know we've got haystacks and pumpkins and like is that not enough for people to be attracted to our house apparently not so it is now 7 41 if you guys know me well enough you know that i'm an old lady and i like to get in bed these little monsters have school in the morning we're gonna watch a halloween movie together but i'm gonna kick him out of my bed in the next hour and go to sleep. All right, guys. Bye. Hi, I'm Connie Joy. I'm Jayan. And I'm Joshua. And you just finished watching a Suburban Swag vlog. If you finished watching the entire vlog, you may as well subscribe. So don't forget to hit the subscription button right here and make sure you hit the notification bell. That way, each and every time we upload a Suburban Swag vlog, you can be the first to know.